What is up, everyone? Sorry, I let that play a little bit longer. I really dig that second beat once it starts to get into it. 
How's everyone doing tonight? Hope y'all are doing well. Live after five, man. We are now in the six o'clock hour, rolling towards the weekend. I cannot wait. This week has kicked my butt. Let me know how y'all are doing. What is up, Marco? Hey, Betty Davis. Angelo, how's it going? Thomas, how you doing, my brother? What is up, Chris? Who else did I miss? Betty Davis eyes. Saw some other names up here. What's going on, Chris? I think I said Chris. I'm sorry. What's up? I'm me. And Knives Are Life. What is up? Thank you all for coming to hang out. We got some stuff to go over. Things that have come in this week. We have the giveaways. If you don't follow me over on Instagram, you got a little while. We're going to do that a little bit later. Uh, we got the Instagram giveaway that we're doing to celebrate 4,000 followers, 7,000. I don't even have that over here, guys. <laughs> 4,000 followers over on Instagram. And then we are doing the members only giveaway a little bit after that. Speaking of giveaway stuff, I actually picked up something. If that video, I don't think that video is live yet. But I picked up something that is going to be going towards 6,000 subscribers. It's like a slow crawl getting there, though. It is crazy, crazy slow. What's up, Jay Dizzle? Appreciate y'all stopping by. We got some members. Let's give them a quick cheer. I'm going to actually, I didn't get a chance last week because I had so many things that I had to do when I got off the live. But I'm hoping uh, to look around a little bit more for some more sound effects that I can put up into OBS. I like the buzzer beater, too. We got March Madness going on, so that's appropriate, right? Anybody following March Madness? I haven't watched the first thing. I've been too busy at work, and it's going on during the daytime. What's up, Clarence? How's it going? Clarence is a member as well. Appreciate you. Oh, I missed. I missed, I missed. What do y'all got in the pockets today? Let me know. I am curious to see what you're carrying. Fook is in the house. What's up, my man? I carried... I put it away already because I'm rotating out for tomorrow stuff since I'm, you know... By the time I'm done here, it'll be just a couple hours before I go to bed anyway. But I carried my Purple Haze Tactile Maverick and my Purple Haze Jack Wolf Knife Midnight Jack. That's what I carried today. Kind of a lighter carry for me. But I had some other stuff that I was trying to do, like on my breaks and whatnot, and I was trying to walk at lunch. So uh, I did limit that a little bit for my carry today. Why is this all the way over there? That is so strange. What do we got in the comments? Nah, Fuka, looks like you got everybody to me. That's all good, Anissa. We appreciate you coming and hanging out on whatever mobile di device you're working off of today. Got a meeting in 30 minutes. Well, I hope it's a quick meeting. <laughs> and I hope it doesn't equate to any work. Um, yeah, that's cool. I'm not doing any of the giveaway stuff right away. We're going we're gonna to get into that in a little bit. Angelo's got the Civivi Button Lock Ultimatum. <laughs> What is the ultimatum? Are you saying elementum and it changed it to ultimatum? That is awesome. Somebody should suggest to Civivi that they call their knife one of them the ultimatum. That's pretty awesome. Jay Dizzle's got the Bowie and the Smooth Precision Ball Chain Pen. Oh, you got a light carry today too, man. What are you what is it like three there, Jay Dizzle? How far is it? Is it four hours? Or is it two? I guess that would make it two there. So still pretty early. Are you at work, my man? Baby girl, I'm probably going to be doing the Instagram one close to seven. And I will not do the members only giveaway until after. Hopefully that helps you out. So right now it's six where I'm at. So... Um, right before seven o'clock, we'll probably go all the way up to like six forty-five and do the Instagram, which I'm hoping I get a better get the comment picker ready, huh? I'm hoping that the comment picker I use for YouTube will work. Um, let me see here, comment picker, comment picker. There it is. Oh nope, I want this one. 
That way it's ready to go later when we get to that point. Um, but right now we're not doing that. Right now we're checking pockets and I'm looking for the pop out chat. All right, let's see. No, nobody else is going to tell us what's in their pockets. Oh, I was right the first time. It was three there. Okay. Aaron's got the mini buster. Baby girl says, hold on. Let me pull it up on the big screen. I listen to you while I head home. I can't reply till I get home. Okay. So are you on your way home now already, baby girl? Still at work, Jay Dizzle. Sounds good, man. Sounds good. I appreciate you coming and hanging out while you're at work. I do that. I do all my lunch break. I listen to a couple of other channels um, when they, whenever they do their lunch. Or Casey recently has been doing the randoms here lately, these random lives. Let's see, let's see. Sean said, carried my Snick and the new Damascus Vision FG. That's a solid knife. That's a banger right there. I like that. Um, one of one of the best budget knives that you can still get today with the super lock on it for that price. Oh, and it came in today. He just got it, and he's got his I Olight i3T+. Plus. What color do you got that Olight in there, Sean? Mike is riding the bikes with the kids. Well, I hope you're having fun and enjoying the weather. It got to... doesn't tell me on here. It got to like 78 or 76 or something like that today. So on my lunch at work, I took a walk because um, I knew I had to live tonight. So I don't know that I... I have to wait and see like what the temperature looks like after a live to see if I can do an after live walk. So I'll judge that tonight. Um, what's up, Big Hams? Thanks for stopping by. Appreciate it, bro. Thank you, thank you. Sean, you got the blacked out of light. Got you. Fook, are you talking about me? I said, hey, Fook. I said, what is up, my man? Or did I miss your pocket check? No, I didn't miss your pocket check. Who missed you, man? I said hey to you. Early, early on. You might have been typing back to everybody, though. <laughs> Jay, Jay Drizzle. <laughs> That's pretty funny. Yeah, autocorrect gets me sometimes, too. I totally understand. Uh, so I do have, What is up, uh, Bluminati? How's it going, bro? Man, giving away memberships already. Are you doing that so everybody can uh, get into the members-only giveaway we're going to do a little bit later? You guys, make sure you thank Bluminati for that. That is awesome of him. I'm going to try to read the new members. And he's been a member for three months. That is awesome. I'm, like, backing up to catch up. Iron, it looks like you were gifted a membership by Bluminati, man. Uh, Lemmy, you were given a membership by Bluminati. So was Jason. Jason, who is Jay Sean? <laughs> Jason Tactical Terry seventy nine and Robo Stevo. Thank you again, Bluminati. Make you make sure you guys show him some love. Use your special member only gifts. So cool that he did that. So cool that he did that. I appreciate it, man. You are the man. Did I miss any pocket, other pocket dumps? Bluminati, I know you usually have your pockets full. What are you carrying today? Fuchs got the standard Vosti. What's the standard Vosti Thunderbird? Is it not the Gmascus one? He's got the Civiv he got another Civivi Vision FG. That is a banger. And he got the CRKT Minimalist in a cleaver blade shape. Do you wear that on your neck? I'm just curious. I'm a nosy dude, man. Um, well, while we're waiting for that, I actually kind of wanted to talk to you all about something just to just to get some perspective. What what is your feelings when you see a content creator out there talking about? Oh, Clarence, I missed yours. Let me go back. Hold on. 
it is jumping on me on my screen a little bit. So let me see. Let me see. It might have been when um, Clarence. Ah, okay. Thank you, man. I appreciate that. He's got uh, the EMP EDC Nimble that just came in today. Is that right? And it's uh, the one with the speed holes in Mocha Tai hardware. That is a bougie EMP EDC Nimble. Nice. Nice. That's a nice carry there, man. All right, I'm coming back down. Hopefully, I didn't miss anybody else. Betty Davis got her mini Vosteed Labrador. Checking that out this week. That one came via the pass around group, buddy. So I'm checking that out. Do you have this one or the, I think the blacked out? Is it blacked out in this that it comes in? I can't remember. Hey, wake up. There you go. Oh, you know what? It's the light because of daylight savings. I think it's tripping out my camera. Let's see here. Oh, Baby girl, on the bike, heading home now. Okay, not a problem. Not a problem. It'll be up a little bit later. Um, we'll be doing that uh, probably in about another 40 minutes that we'll do the one for Instagram first, and then after 7 o'clock, we'll do the members only. So you still got a little bit of time. Big Hams is carrying his Manix 2 Rex 45 and Vision FG. Man, everybody is carrying the Vision FG. Aniso, <laughs> Civivi Vision, <laughs> got it, Civivi Vision, okay, I was like, did I say that right, when I looked at it a second time, I was like, I don't know, Thomas, I missed yours twice, man, I am, I am sorry, let me go back up and find it, two ads already, oh, I did forget to look at that last week, but I I figured out how to fix it. I had to research it first. Thomas, where's your pocket dump? Man, I rolled, I rolled right past it. Kaiser Cormorant, Baby Banter. Did I miss anybody else? I'm sorry, guys. Let me just go slower. The, the ninja strikes again. I missed that comment from Anissa. Let's see here. Thomas got two ads already. Okay. Uh, I'll fix that in one second. I think I do it from the, actually the screen right here where I'm live at. Big hands. I, th I think I've got yours already. Iron carried the feel good that he picked up from me. There you go. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> Jay Dizzle, I haven't kicked around picking up the Vision FG. I like the look of the Damascus, and I could make scales for it. Yeah, you definitely could. Those, I think, would be fairly easy, except for, you know, the Civivi C pivot thing, nub, whatever you want to call it, <laughs> that it has. But uh, you should you should definitely be familiar with that. There's Blue Minotti. Oh, my gosh, I'm going to let you guys read behind me to make sure I didn't miss anything. TFK Fixie. Arius Crow, CDC Salvation, Cold Steel, Formax, Scout, MSI with OG Gunstock Scales. That's a nice one. Purple Haze. How do you say that? K Kaimano? Kaimano? Am I saying that right? The Latin started to come out of me there. Uh, the Limo, Lim, Limo Stream? Limo Stream? Limo Stream? Uh, Hi Hoon Anode Clydesdale. I've seen that one. That's a sick knife. If y'all haven't seen it on his Instagram, you should check that. That's a sweet Anno. Mini Penguin, Hedgehog, Vampire Jack, and more. Do you just carry it in a backpack? <laughs> just curious. Uh, Lemmy's got the Pony Stout today. Mike hasn't had an ad in a week. Uh, Mike, do you have a YouTube subscription? I saw someone or heard someone say that if you if you have a subscription to YouTube, you don't get any ads. Um, so I'm curious if you do. If you don't, then I'm concerned that other people are getting ads and you're not. And I'm going to look at that in a second, just making sure I got through all caught up. Uh...
Oh, the time delay. Yeah, I'm sorry about that. All right, let me look at this real quick. And while I'm looking at it, I'm going to minimize that. Um, do you guys, monetization is over here. Drop that down. I think that'll fix it. You might get one more or none if you already got two, uh, but it could give you one more because it might be on a little bit of a delay. But um, if it happens too often, just let me know. So what I was saying is, what are your thoughts? What up, uh, Peeps just filmed my giveaway video. What's up, Gonzo? Uh, I'm going to post both after the live. So if you guys want a chance at some more giveaway stuff, where is that at on my screen? Where, where is it delayed to the, um, it's supposed to be instant. Let's see here. Oh, I found it. Sorry. It is, it, it is me, I think, because of the angle. I can't get it over, but so much more because, uh, it runs into the microphone here. So I'm kind of limited there. But anyway, I was saying, make sure you guys check out Gonzo stuff if you're interested in more giveaway options. Uh, deceptively large knife, in my opinion, carried it yesterday. Pretty fun. Which one is that one, Aniso? I just read off a bunch. I'm sorry. Uh, I don't know. I was scared. One of my kids added a premium subscription, but I checked. I don't have one. Okay. Oh, I don't know if it's premium. Um, for YouTube, I don't know what the cost is. I don't know if it's like Sling or I don't know what other subscriptions are out there. <laughs> Hulu, something like that. I think they offer something like that. I mean, YouTube premium, no ads. Got it. Okay. Thanks for confirming that. I appreciate it. It's good to know. How much does it cost, I mean, if you don't mind? And what do you get channels or is it just uh, movie content and originals? So just curious. Uh, I'm, uh, I wear the minimalist on my neck. Yes. Okay. Oh, they're your standard carry. Okay, got it. Got it. All right, Bluminati. Drive safe, bro. Uh, back to my question. <laughs> oh, and I probably should throw the link for the members only up here, too. When you guys watch other content creators, do you ever um, take issue with when they talk about other channels in a negative light? So I'm going to give an example here. Where is that video? That's going to take me a minute to find it. Um, members, that's behind the camera. It is channel giveaway. I found it. That was fast. Um, copy link, copy link address. I'm going to put it in the chat. I was watching one the other day, and I felt like they were trying kind of, and I don't know that they meant to, but I felt like they were kind of doing like a backhanded comment. So the conversation was around different types of YouTube channels. And this particular YouTuber was commenting that they take issue with people that pull the knife out of the box and try to do a review right there with it out of the box. Um, they, they made it seem like the comment was like, I'll never do that. You'll never see that on my channel. I don't agree with that methodology. Not that I have an issue with people that do. For me, everything that you said prior to that last statement made it sound like you have an issue with that. So I'm just curious. I wanted to see what you all had to say, what you all thought um, as far as that approach. I'm going to make sure if someone can just test to make sure that this, um, I'm going to pin it, that link takes you to the correct video. So it'd be for members only. That's the members only. Uh, and that's the giveaway that we're doing tonight for members only. What's up, budget guy? Hey, Mike, uh, on your uh, question, man, it, the problem is the screen is too small. Um, yes. But it 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 went away because I took it apart and cleaned it, and I put minimal amounts of oil on there. So I don't know if you'll be able to hear this. But 
but there's no stick on it now. Oh, is it going to be able to pick up the black? Am I going to have to turn the lights on during the day? Up during the day? Let me try this. Let me try this. And let me catch up on the comments. Uh, hopefully that answers your question, Mike. I hope you're doing well, man. I'm sorry if I didn't say hi before. That's not bad. What do you get for it? I'm so nosy, man. I don't know why I'm being so nosy tonight. Okay. So Fuchs says, uh, I'm not big on, a big fan of people calling each other out for the most part, especially when it's on methods or style. This is... Uh, this community has room for many types. What you watch, watch what you like. Sorry, watch what you like. And so I'm okay with uh, Casey and Kev talking about 704 gear situations since they are knife designers and have knife companies. Sorry, that's different than what you were talking about. Uh, no, I mean, we can, if you guys ever want to talk about something, bring it up. Um, I'm all about conversation and I'm, I'm curious by nature. I think a lot of people, um, in my life that know me know that I'm curious, but I think people that don't know me misinterpret when I, when I ask questions, it's more about the curiosity. Um, but I, I wanted some perspective on like my, my hot take on it. Like when I heard it, it, it put me off a little bit because, you know, showing off a knife and just kind of giving your thoughts like you can kind of pick up something most of the time and kind of tell like oh this is kind of comfortable and you can do a quick couple cuts and say it has a nice factory edge i think there's certainly things you can do right out the gate i um i just can't right it's not i'm not willing to do that but i i need a minute because i know I get really excited at the newness. So I know that initially I'm wait. OBS disconnected, reconnecting. Okay. I apologize. I think OBS just said it disconnected and reconnected. So I don't know what happened, but I just know I get really excited and I don't want to overhype something. So I just want to take a minute take a breather and just spend a few minutes with the knife, you know, a few minutes. It's actually ends up taking me about a week to do a knife review. Um, and I have to carry it. Like I have to carry it. I have to handle it. I have to spend some time with it. So like my normal pocket dumps are like of my personal property knives that I'm carrying. And then what I'm doing is I usually have like a little roll or I'm carrying it to work with me and trying to use it throughout the day where I can. Um, and the role part of it is I'm taking it down to my desk and, you know, in between work or while I'm listening to something in a meeting or something like that, um, I'm messing with the knife, trying to figure out, do I like the deployment? How do I feel about the detent? And then I'll take it into the garage and I'll hold it and I'll try on my stuff. It's easier. I can cut as much as I want with mine and then I can give good feedback on limited time pass around i only get a small sample size so it's really i'm just trying to hold it while i'm talking doing stuff um i might switch hands if i'm working with the mouse and just kind of seeing how it feels but just really getting a good sense of it so that i can collect my thoughts and come back to you guys and kind of tell you how i'm feeling about stuff but i am curious to see about uh what your take is on that that they would you know, feel so offended by that type of a review that they would make an entire video dedicated to it. Okay, Iron's saying uh, one's an unboxing, like an initial impression. Is that what you're saying, Iron? And then a review, which would be a different video. And in your opinion, like an in-depth review would be something that's different. And what I started doing with my content is I've actually... Because I, I was doing unboxings, but then people weren't coming back from the reviews. And some people were getting it confused and saying this wasn't very helpful. Because I would just give a quick couple impressions, just fresh out the box. So I did away with that. And what I've started to do is just silent unboxings for my shorts. So that you guys can see it coming out of the package. Everything that's in the package, which I think is what most people like to see. Because it, it is fun when it's an experience. Even if it's not, it's still fun to see it coming out of the package for some. 
and then I'll do a week in review at the end of the week where I've had the full week with anything that I've got on pass around or anything that's new. So I'll just, you know, this is what's come in, but I've spent some time with it so I can give some quick details and then I have the full review, do some cuts. And then if it's my own personal property, I like to disassemble just because I, I'm a tinkerer by nature anyway. Yeah, that's an excellent price, Clarence. That is an excellent price. Uh, I think those those knives, aren't they like 300 bucks normally anyway? Um, I think I could be misquoting. I'm just trying to remember. I remember when I bought my EMP EDC relative, I want to say I paid like 335 for that. And that was nothing but the knife. Um, so they're not cheap at all. But none of the small batch, any small company, small batch, whether it's something cracked, Devo or Finch or uh, Tempest, you know, they there's not a lot of room for money. And because it's small batch order, they don't get as much of a discount as a big batch order or EMP. Um, so all of those are an issue. Let me, yeah, not much of a fan of that. There is a person in particular that just keeps slamming some channels and it gets, I get real tired of it. Um, I don't know if we're talking about the same person because I just saw this for the first time, but I do struggle to watch every video from everyone. I try to, I definitely try to make it out to the lives. I miss some of those as well. Life happens. Um, because I know that the live's like the best form of engagement to tell YouTube that people are interested in a channel. And I'm going to cut my fan on while I'm talking. But um, I don't catch every channel. But I just feel like... So I don't agree with the use your... use. I'm not, I can't say the explicit on here because I don't want to get demonetized. But the use your stuff movement. Um, I, I don't agree with that because I feel like from my perception... What I am seeing, the people that are like, use your stuff are telling you to go out there and like cut roots in the dirt or, you know, use it to pry off a light cover that's stuck with paint and things of that nature. Using your stuff can be. I'm fidgeting with it. I got something from Amazon. Open my Amazon. That could be using it. Also, save queens are a form of use. You are a collector. And you're using that knife to add on and fulfill your need to build your collection. So use is all relative, you know, and I'm not trying to get all loosey loosey goosey with it. Um, but even pe like I collect, <laughs> I collect what I have when I was in high school, middle school more so. I have, you know, baseball cards, football cards. I don't do anything with those. They, they're they stored in cases in the addict, along with my comic books that I collected when I was about that age too, um, I have the the pop the pop bobbleheads. They're still in the packages, and I collect them. I put them on display. So I mean, I think like there's when people feel like they have the need to tell you what to do with your stuff. I feel like that's where they cross the line, right? You've spent that money. Isn't it kind of your decision what you do with it? I was scared to try to take it apart. Wasn't sure. Finch warranty. Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, I don't think there would be an issue because, you know, it's going to be... They probably keep bearings, hardware, and stuff like that on stock. And even if it's something that you need to get, like I had... I lost. That was my fault. I lost a screw when I was uh, anodizing them on my... Um, evo uh sharp by design evo and i reached out to them and he was like i can send you one i was like well it's my fault so i can pay you he was like well i really don't sell individual pieces he was like but i keep little like packages i know this is not a package of hardware but i keep little packages of a full set of hardware if you'd like to buy that i was like i would like to buy it because i it's my fault i lost it uh, I mean, I could care, I could care less what another man does. Be yourself. I cannot knock another man's hustle. Yeah, there you go. There you go. I feel you, El Cap. Um, you know, I don't want to get into the. I'm not trying to call anyone out. I was just trying to get a sense of what what's the take on people taking issue with, oh, you know, one video open box. And calling it a review. Um, does that offend you? Or do you enjoy the content? And you like to see the new knife? 
I guess that's the as far down as I can break it down. Uh, Angelo, I see no problem with pulling a product out of a box and reviewing it. Only thing that can't speak on is the lasting durability and workmanship over time. That is very accurate. And I, I don't have an issue with it either. I am uh, partially tuning in probably for that type of review because I like the person or I'm interested in seeing the product. And sometimes for me... I know I can go, let's use Stasa for an example. I know I can go to Stasa's channel, and if he gets a finch, I know exactly what I'm going to get from him. He's going to cut with it. He probably has some of the more sensitive hands in the in the industry to do the burns, and I know that he's going to give me that feedback on it, but he might not have the variant I'm interested in. So a tabletop reviewer, let's call it, uh, they may get the one that I want to look at, and they may be able to tell me a little bit about what they're visually seeing upon inspecting it. And the truth of the matter is, if you don't know immediately that you want a knife and you're you're kind of on the fence, or maybe it's a little bit more money and you're trying to do a little bit more research on it, the culmination of the two helps me in my decision. Um a great example of that is when you see titanium with milling or knurling, I'm looking to see what they're going to tell me about the pocket clip. And maybe not everybody's going to pick up on that, but that is important to me. While I do enjoy knurling, you know, I, I don't, I've come to learn that I really don't love aggressive knurling or milling plus the snag with the pocket clip, maybe the relief cut plus that plus the pocket clip make for a really bad experience. Cause you know, I like the fact that I can put something in one-handed, take it out one-handed. I don't want to have to reach around, hold the pocket in place and stuff it in there. So, like, little different things. And I think that, that that goes back to somebody's point earlier about there's so much variety out there and there's the space for it that it's good to have that because it might not be important to someone else, so they might not cover it. All right, I think it took me all the way back to the front. No, actually, it timed out the messages, so I'm skipping ahead. I'm sorry. Uh, I think you're representing what you're offering well, e.g. your cut tests are just about how, yeah, it feels in the I preface it that every single time. Fuchs says there are hard users and there are bougie knife fashion collectors. Exactly. I do agree with that. There's room for everything, and I don't know that I've ever seen anything that I took offense to, per se. Oh, my daughter stopped by. I didn't know she was coming by. I can see her through the window. Oh, Thomas. Okay. Uh, I'll keep researching it because I cut it down. It should be, uh, it should not be, it should not be doing it now. I think I cut it back um, to just uh, cut it back to just the published. Uh, pretty far for Nike. Same here. New things excite me. And I like, I like a knife at first and then slow down and start to dislike after using it for a little while. Yeah, that's what I'm worried about. I'm worried about like, ooh, I really love the aesthetics. And sometimes it's the opposite. Sometimes I see these videos and the pictures and I'm like, it looks good. And then it gets here and I'm like, why does it look so different? I think my chat ninja is timing me out because it just cut off what I had highlighted and I couldn't see it no more. And then so I can understand why people who do heavy duty testing channels feel like they're putting in all this extra work to test a knife and provide that kind of info it doesn't excuse the bashing um i think there's a way that you could go about expressing that to say you know i feel like a true in-depth knife review is more valuable to me than just opening a box and saying hey i like the way this looks and it has good action Right? Did I offend or point out or pick out at anybody? I hope not. <laughs> but you know, I'm intending to say like I feel like it's more valuable to me to do to have this versus this. Not saying anything about anybody's review. Um, you know, I, I truth be told, I'm the type of person that appreciates all of it. I agree with that, Fook. I agree with that. As long as you're honest. Um, you know what else? I think when my software disconnected, I wonder if that had something to do with the con the ads. 
Thanks, Pizza. I appreciate it. Thank you, sir. Appreciate you stopping by. Good to see you tonight. As long as I'm aware of the approach, doesn't really matter. Like it all. Yeah, Thomas, I know I probably do lean more on like I just enjoy the content. I love to see because pictures don't always do justice. I love to see videos of all the different variants, too, which is another reason why I probably watch multiple channels that talk about one particular knife that I could be more interested in or potentially want to pick up and add to the collection. Tori says, what I will say is I do not like a channel bashing another channel that will make me tune out. Personally, I do not tune in for negativity. Hey, man, there's enough of that in the world. <laughs> Preach, Tori. There's enough of that in the world. I couldn't agree more. Thomas agrees as well. Lemmy, yeah, I don't want to name Snake. Yeah, okay, gotcha. Since they are friends. Since they are friends with people I really do like, and I don't want drama to start the drama. Yeah, and I'm not trying to call out anybody. Truth be told, I don't even have an issue with the fact that this person felt so passionate about it that they wanted to dedicate a video talking about it. To me, it's more about it. What what are we trying to accomplish with the conversation? I guess that's what I think I'm missing, and I really uh, I've never. I will, I, I'm going to back up a little bit. I have had taken issue with people when it gets personal. So I've seen out there where it wasn't a content creator, but it was someone within the knife community that had influence. And they were, they did, they weren't doing it repeatedly, but they did talk negatively about another person and their comment was it, it was actual fact whether they knew it or not so i think i, I don't want to keep hey what's up g ball hope you're doing well bro um i don't want to keep going too deep into that one but for me and i hope that um the people that i mentioned don't mind this because I, I don't think they've mended fences so i'm kind of uh what's up night's edge i'm kind of leery to name names um so what i'll do is i'll tell you what was said and if you know you know so the first influencer said that your review is a review from someone that i would think was on crack and the reviewer was a former addict that had recovered and I don't know if the influencer, the person that you know has influence in our community, knew that or not. But I, I still took issue with the comment because it was based on a review that was trying to be honest. And while they felt something about that particular product was dangerous. So it wasn't like your product sucks and you're crap, right? It was like, I think this is really dangerous. You know, if you got this and it came in, be mindful of this. Like, I felt like it was coming from a good place. And the other person just, I think, overreacted and name called. And I do take issue with that. I feel like, you know, we're adults. We can talk. And even when that happens, I have respect when they can come back to the table and they can discuss it like adults, even if they decide that the indifferences mean that they're just not going to be, you know, collaborating or associated anymore. Like, I even can respect that, but I do, that is where I do have an issue. I just feel like, you know, if it's not coming from a bad place, then don't attack the other person. If you don't like it, I'm of the upbringing where come to me face to face, tell me that I offended you. Because truth be told, I probably really didn't mean to offend you or, or make you feel attacked. And I would want to talk it out, but not everybody's built that way and I totally get it. Mike, some people only want the quick review. Want want the quick review? Okay, you're saying some people want the quick review, quick review, not the in depth. So that makes sense. And that's why I think, yeah, Stasa, Stasa, I I have mad respect for Stasa because he goes in it like he is like an inspiration to me of things that I want to try to incorporate and do. I don't want to copy or rip him off, but I love what he provides as far as feedback 
Um, so I try not to do exactly what he's doing, but more just, like I said, I'm not really doing edge retention. I just want to share a little bit of my experience and kind of let you know what I'm doing with it. But he, he really inspires me with how he does his videos a lot. I get a lot of inspiration from everywhere, if I'm honest. Um, every YouTube I watch says numerous times, this is just an unboxing, not a full review. True that. I, and I think that is important too. That is important information. If they're telling you that's what it is, then you really shouldn't have room to take issue with it because they're telling you that's what they're doing. They're not trying to sugarcoat it or not sugarcoat it, but they're not trying to uh, misrepresent. Totally agree, Blade Shot Shooter. All right. I'm going to try to catch up here. Uh, my, my take on it is if you do... Oh, do you when reviewing knives? If someone watches the unbox, uh, watch you unboxing it and flick it a few times and do a size comparison and that's all the info they require, then that's fine. That is true. That is true. I, I guess I was unaware, too, before I saw this video, that creators have issues with people that do this. Because to me... I. I feel like if you like that channel and you tuned in to watch that knife and then you subscribe to me, you enjoyed the presentation and the style and the format enough to want to come back to do it. And clearly there's subscribers that have way, I mean, uh, content creators that have way more subscribers than someone like me. And I, you know, I think they probably do a little bit of a scaled back version of what I do. That doesn't offend me. I think they, I think, honestly, I think some of those really big channels are probably feeling pressure to try to get to the product and try to get something out there that is helpful and informative. Like, to me, I respect what they do. Which locking mechanism is the all-time best for hands-down chicken nuggets? Is it frame locks? Um, I'm going to let the... Uh, people, people do that. Uh, Knight says, personally prefer how MC does it. He clearly states it's an unboxing, not a review, then does a review after he feels he's formed a full opinion. Yeah, yeah. And I think it's probably hard to, I worry about being excited. I think that's the only thing. I don't want to talk for anybody else. For me, I can't do it at the unboxing. Um. And to me, I really want to see, like, when I got the Finch, I was like, ooh, it's really gritty. Uh, really, really gritty. And it was just because it was over-oiled by QSP at the factory. I took it apart. I cleaned it. And I really like this a lot. Detent is awesome. Really good action. Super smooth. It feels well-made. But I'm still going to spend a little bit more time with it. I'm going to do a little bit more cutting with it. Um, I, I am starting to notice... Uh, it's pretty heavy for a small knife, but I haven't weighed it. I couldn't tell you what the weight is right off the top of my head. And I don't know that it would be a factor because this, to me, that size is going to be a companion carry knife. All right, I'm going to catch up, guys, because I'm getting ready to have to do the drawing. If I missed anything that you want me to read, just please put it back down in the comments. My software is kind of, I'm falling so far behind, it's pushing comments out that I've missed entirely. And I apologize for that. That's not... Uh, what I meant to do. Something to like in every channel, in my opinion. And if there's something you don't like, don't watch it. That is true. Yeah, I guess I wouldn't even bother watching the other channels if I was offended by something that they were doing in there. Um, I, and this isn't... Uh, <laughs> we were just talking about this. Oh, is Lefty in here? No, I'm not. Is Lefty in here? No, he's not in here. What? Oh, he is in here. You tagged him. We were just talking shit about you, Lefty. No, I'm definitely not talking about Lefty. I love Kevin. Um, I definitely... <laughs> I tune in for his personality, and my favorite are his disassembly videos. When he tries to go into disassembled stuff, and it doesn't go smoothly, I feel that frustration. Like, I, I feel every ounce of that when he goes through that. <laughs> Um, so I'm going to go through just a couple things really quick before we do the Instagram, Instagram giveaway. I'm going to start with something that is for a future giveaway. So I don't think this has come out there yet, but I'm saving this one for 6000 
Um, I know that some people missed the drop or didn't get to pick one up on the drop because they went so fast. So I did pick up, since I have the satin with the blue hardware, I really like both of these, though. It, it's like really killing me that this is going to be going into the giveaway pile because I really like this. Um, and it's and it continues to be my favorite Devo just because for me, ergonomically, it just nestles right into the hand. Um, not that the others aren't bangers. I really like a lot of the Devo models, but this one here really speaks to me. It's going to go into the 6,000 subscriber uh, giveaway pool pile i have other things that'll be a surprise but i did want to mention this to you guys that came out to hang out with me at the live stream to let you know if you did miss on this one and my fingerprints are on it already i'm so sorry guys uh, this will be included for 6,000 when we get there it's been a little bit of a crawl here lately so i do apologize for that but i'm not going to do anything with that particular knife that is solely for the giveaway and i already feel like i have content on that particular model with my own personal version that I have. So that'll be going in there. And then the, where'd the flashlight go? The giveaway for the Instagram is going to be the SimCut Glide Strike. That's for 4,000 followers. Just my way to say thank you. Um, this is a really nice model. You know, it has that typical build quality that you come to expect from SimCut, Civivi, and we. And I really like this one. The micarta is really well done on it. Very nice feeling micarta. And it's a really thin blade stock on there. Super slicey, even though it's a big knife. So we're going to do this one first. And then a little bit later, we're going to do for the members, member only giveaway, we're going to be doing the Migaron Pagos. This is a really nice model, guys. This is more of a medium EDC versus the Simcut being a large. Really nice for everyday carry. I really like what Migron's been doing. Um, I didn't sell the flashlight that's going with that because I don't know how many people went to the Instagram. Let me take it out of the package because it's really reflecting, guys. And then I'm also including with that for the members only one of the Bang TI pry bars that I anodized and stonewashed. There you go. Focus for me. So you can see that stone wash on there. You can see the anno on there. I really like these. These are a great size. Um, nice acute tip, but it's not so dainty that I can't use it for my camera equipment when I'm moving stuff around and I want to tie it down. So I really like those, and it's fun to practice on them. So what do you guys say? We're coming up at 650. Let's do it at 650. And then between that and... Um, and the link, sorry, to the members only giveaway tonight is at the top there for you guys. What's up, Dwayne? How's it going? Thanks, man. I appreciate you dropping that in there. That is awesome. Really taking care of everybody. I did pin it to the top, so hopefully it's up there too. What's up, G-Ball? I know I missed a bunch of comments. I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> besides yours there you go yeah yeah i'm telling you man some he did one kevin did one the other day i want to say it was a caviso knife but i'm sorry if i remember it wrong and it had the floating backspacers like the the washers so it looks like it floats and um, he did fine with the second one, but I, I, he did a knife before that that had the floating backspacer and it had the washers on it. And uh, <laughs> I know he wanted to cuss putting that together. At least that's how it felt. But uh, I feel him on that. I felt like that when I took the, um, the Iridium apart because the Iridium didn't have any captive pivots. So when you were trying to unscrew the screws, it was just spinning on either side. And it was such a pain. That one was a pain to take apart. Like once I knew what to do, I was able to do go ahead, throw some thread locker on and tighten real down real hard on the opposite side of the pivot so that it would be a little bit easier next time to take down. But that sucked. That was awful. Yeah, Clarence, I'm guessing you either probably got the ad or it was when I cut off briefly that i said that uh that is an excellent value what you got that nimble for um i think they're like 300 anyway so oh wait what did uh lefty what did you say wait for the tall boy jd uh protos arrived today i think 
Got to unbox those live, maybe? Hmm, incentive to come hang out with Kev tonight? Not that we needed it, but I'll take the extra incentive to make sure that I'm there and on time so I don't miss it. <laughs> we'll be nice in the comments today so you don't get behind either so you can get to that. All right, so let me go to my Instagram. I have so many tabs open, y'all. Holy cow. Let's see. Let's go to my profile. My light is blocking. How did my light get knocked over? It's got to be when the robot vacuums up here. Sorry, guys. I know my forearms in front of the uh, the camera. I have one of those Roombas, and I bet you he went under the desk and was knocked because that's a lightweight, <laughs> lightweight um, light. I bet you he knocked it around. Where is? The giveaway post. All right, let's see, because if it doesn't, I'll have to do it on the phone. So here, share. No. Oh, it's right here. It's in the. Um... All right, so let me share my screen. For anyone that follows me over on Instagram, do y'all need one more minute? Just in case for the 4K, 4K giveaway. I just showed the sim cut. I do have, not that you can see it now that I'm sharing the screen, but I do have the Rovi Vaughn. This is like a $40 keychain light um, that I'm including with that as well. <laughs> G-Boss said, Kevin is the reason I became a female. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, I want to see that. I'll be there. Don't you worry. I'm coming by to see. Yeah, Clarence, absolutely a good, 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 uh, good deal. Big Ham's got an ad for the first time. Okay. I definitely am going to go back and double check my settings then. All right, let's see. If the comment picker that I use for YouTube will also work for the Instagram. Nope. Okay. So I'm going to have to do this one by phone. So let's back out. Let's go back out to the main camera. I have a comment picker for Instagram on the phone, guys. So we'll do it here. And I'll do my best to show you guys what I'm doing. So sorry I have to do it this way. I didn't even think, honestly, uh, beforehand of doing it this way. i got to find it again. Here it is. All right. Oh, no, I want the link. All right, so I'm going to grab my link here. Link is copied. Let's go to the comment picker, which is back over here by YouTube. Actually, you know what? I wonder if it's I wonder if that same website's available online. Freest. Um, let's see here. All right, let's see if this one will work here. All right, I'm going to share my screen again. And I'm sorry I'm ignoring the chat. I'm trying to make this work. Let me see if it works here. I think this is the same app. Ooh, y'all turned out for that giveaway. Number of winners, one mentions. What? Oh, the mentions. It has to be two mentions. Okay, that's right. All right, so two mentions, one winner. You guys ready? Drop a R in the chat if you are ready. What's going on, Matisfaction? Thanks for stopping by, brother. I appreciate the support. Love you, man. All right, drop an R in the comments. Let me know you guys are ready to go, are ready to see this. Hopefully some of y'all, hopefully most of y'all got in on the Instagram one. What's going on, Emily? How's it going? <laughs> hey, girl. Oh, my God. Y'all crack me up. Emily is ready. Betty's ready. 
Let me see a couple more R's. Joe's ready. Bluminati's ready. El Cap is a R. <laughs> Clarence is a R. All right, we're ready. Let's go. Let's see who wins. It is Hershey Bears Fanatic. There you go. Let me um, screenshot this to save it <laughs> so I don't lose it. We'll do this really quick. I'm going to save this as the in pictures. 4K follower Instagram winner. All right. Well, that was fun. And that's not it. We have one more for the members only that we will do here in a little bit. So let's go ahead and get through. Let me close out of here, too. So we'll put that over here. Oh, there we go. We'll save that for later. And I do have that video here ready to go. I just wanted to make sure that I was ready to go, guys. Sean. <laughs> uh, you guys are funny. So I will say, I'm going to give... 48 hours once I tag them on Instagram to respond. And if they don't, I'll do a short where I'll do the other drawing and also post that up on Instagram, giving the next person the opportunity to respond within 48 hours. So I'm going to tag them, give them 48 hours to respond either in the comment or DM me. And then if not, we'll draw again. All right, let's talk about what came in this week. So we got to check out the all blacked out, all murdered out, Devo Growler version 2.5. Let's talk about what is in this week for the pass around. So we saw it a little earlier when you guys, a couple of you mentioned the mini Labrador from Vosti. This thing is pretty cool. This to me would be totally fifth pocket pouch carry. Um, definitely can see why folks with medium or smaller hands like this one as well. Because at this price point, it's really quite cool. And if you hit it really low, <laughs> you can <laughs> let it bounce off your thumb. Um, you can let it go down far enough to where you can shake it home. So this one's pretty cool. Nice lightweight. Comes in under two ounces. I checked the weight on that today. So that's in this week for review. Is it really? Y'all aren't just messing with me. You're sitting next to me. Are y'all messing with me? That's pretty funny if y'all were here for it. Actually, it's really cool. I love when the guy, when y'all come out. <laughs> y'all are a trip, man. <laughs> Y'all crack me up. All right, so we got the Thornton. I think I'm saying that right. This is also another Vosti. Actually, those two in the pass around are going around together, so that's why they came together. Um, but this is a pretty cool little button lock. Nice micarta. This reminds me of the micarta from Kaiser. I'm not trying to infer anything here, guys. I'm just saying it, it's a really well done. Um, kind of cool how they did the full liners here. They left the raw metal exposed on the back that's kind of nice something a little bit different for the look and the aesthetic piece of it nice sheep's foot blade here so that you can use that um, unfortunately for me when i'm you know in the normal gripping position it's a three and a half finger knife a little small for me i can choke up but i have found that the ergos are not not as great when you have to kind of choke up here. And I don't really like being that close to the blade's edge without a dedicated forge choil there. So I, I'm trying to hold it back here. Um, and it's just a little small for me, but the build quality, typical Vosti guys, really nice build quality. Little light on the uh, detent, the, the plunge lock detent on this one, but I don't know if it's because pass around. I, I can't quite remember where I am 
on the list for the pass round for this one. So detent a little light, but all in all, solid knife. And again, another one that's coming in at under 100 bucks. And let's jump into some of the stuff that came in new for me this week. I'll do the least interesting thing first. <laughs> Keep it that way. What's up, Jay Dizzle? Welcome back. Hockey is like the first slice of bread everyone touches, but no one cares. <laughs> That's an interesting analogy. Um, I liked my titanium land apple so much, and I wanted to do a complete blue loadout. So I picked up the aluminum land apple from Raylight. And this is a, re I really love this size and this form factor for me. I can still get to the tail switch fairly easily and it still goes out far enough on the palm to where I'm not like seeing my shadow reflecting on it. And then I did, um, oh, I need the black light to show you guys that, right? And this what shows it. I think this will show it on camera. So you can see I did the red. Instead of doing blue on blue, I thought I would do a little bit of contrast on here. So you guys can see with the black light, I got the red uh, tritium pills from Ant Design. So I really like that. I, f I thought I ordered enough. I forgot to get to the one for the top. <laughs> so I need to order, or actually it's on its way because I have another one that I'm, another project I'm working on. But I, I don't want to spill the beans on that one. I want you guys to see like the final product. Okay, Sean, if that's you and you responded to the Instagram, you're good, man. Just um, I'll respond to your DM and then we'll work out all the details to get it to you. Congrats, man. Um, I'm going to be shipping some stuff tomorrow. So when I get off here tonight, I'll eat something before I go over to Kevin's live and I'll, I'll hop on and check it then. Congrats, man. That's awesome. I'm so glad you came by and saw it live. Uh, if you are a member... <laughs> Um, get in on that one too. So I did, this is the, uh, this was the raw mini tactile turn side click. And I did, uh, another high voltage oil slick looking anodizing on this one here. And it, it's so hard to get it to show up on camera guys. So it, it has an oil slick look to it in person because of the high voltage, but I wanted to do that one for the blue loadout as well. So those are just like the two least interesting, I guess, because um, not all of you would be interested in that. But to me, it's fun, and I I like that loadout. I like the blues. And then I've shown it a bunch of times already. So this came in new this week. The Finch Hellfire. These are like, these sold quickly, guys. I was actually surprised that the gold handled satin one sold out before the all blacked out one. Um, again, this one here is like three and three quarters for me, but very comfortable ergonomically for a small knife. The flipper tabs, not really intrusive. I really like the worn cliff blade shape, the black wash on here. QSB did a really good job with the black wash on here. If it'll focus, what are you looking at? I'm trying to get the light. So. I personally like a little bit more of an aggressive black wash, but this one on here is really good. It did come gritty because it had just so much oil, guys. Um, so much oil on it. I took it apart that night, cleaned it, put my, you know, my lube of preference and the amount of lube that I like on there. And it is super smooth. Four millimeter pivot, one millimeter thickness. I didn't see out there where Skiff makes replacement bearings for these, but it is very smooth for stamped ceramic bearings. Um, QSB did a good job in my opinion. And then I'm just going to leave this out because I feel like I keep reaching over to grab it. Um, on this one here, you can see it has a blue shield. I think the old one was green. I could be wrong. I'm trying not to reflect it on there directly. And then some of the red carbon fibers on there react uh, to the black light. But um, can you see the blue glow? Or is it too light? Too light. Okay. I'll leave that flashlight over here so I don't have to keep grabbing on it. But so far, I'm really enjoying this one. Um, I forgot what the... Uh, there's one that's like a 19... Does anybody know what model that is? It starts out with a 19-something. I probably could look it up. 
Uh, that was the last one that I bought. The last one that I really liked from them was the Chernobyl Ant with the Glow Resin. So that's the last one that I got that I really, really liked. But I'm enjoying this one. A little weighty because it's all steel. I feel like, and I don't want to give too much of the review away, I feel like if they did this in all titanium, I would pay $199 for that. Um, I would love for them to to use like a S90V or, you know, even M390 would be fine at that price point. I think that would probably drive the price up too much, though. Um, but even if it was 154CM titanium bolstered with the carbon fiber, I feel, and the titanium pocket clip, I feel like I would, me personally, I would pay $199 for that. All right, let me try to read some comments, guys. I don't want to fall too far behind or miss anybody that came in. Jay Dizzle, I appreciate you hanging out, man. I appreciate it. I know it's super early still there for you guys. Well, early evening. Uh, mini pineapple. I still have my... It's back back in the pouch. I still have the mini, mini pineapple with Sagat High Waves. I have that one. I don't know. Let me know if, we, if I haven't shown it, I'll show it. Raylight? Uh Raylight. Oh, I got it from Ant Design. Hold on, I'll drop it in the comment. Let me um cuz I've I've ordered multiple. So I have red ones that I put on the blue. I have green ones that I put on the rook which I didn't realize until I got it that it looks like a rook piece from a from a chessboard. Like when I got it, I was like, "Oh, that's why they call it the rook." I didn't notice that until I got it in hand. I know that's dumb. And then I have blue tritium inserts on my titanium land apple. But let me, that's not really showing you where I got it from. So Ant, I hit the caps lock, sorry. Yeah, antdesign.com. And I'll take it to the tritium page. It's loading, guys. What time is it? I don't want to miss the uh, draft of the other one. So shop and accessories. Oh, I can share my screen too, so you can see where I'm going. Um, so when you come to Ant Design and you shop, you can come to the Tritium tube, tubes, and then the size for this one is going to be the 1.5 millimeter by 6. That's the size for the inserts for the lights, uh, and I'll drop this for anyone that's looking for them. Um, there, there's like eight bucks a piece. I don't know if that's high or low. <coughs> Excuse me, I need to drink some water. Uh, but that's where I go. That's where I go. Paste. Hello. Paste. There you go. So that is the tritium. I hope I spelled that right. I've, I'm like crooked because I'm trying to stay in front of the uh, camera, but I, I think my laptop is over to the right too far. Let me move it left a little bit there. So give me some more space. Tell El Cap, tell tell Grumpy that he's over here trying to win something. <laughs> uh, actually, Jay Dizzle, I am using um, hobby glue, and I'm glad that I did. It doesn't it hasn't fallen out of any of mine yet, but I'm glad that I'm doing that because I actually messed this one up a little bit. Um. The way I tried to clean it, actually, it might still be a little messed up. I don't know if it's going to let me get but so close, bro. Um, yeah, you see that little that little spot on the bottom there where I, where I um, swiped from top to bottom? And it has that little bit of glump up there. It's actually so much easier to... So what I do... I have a video. I just haven't put it up yet. I do a small layer on the bottom. I drop the pill in. I push it down so that it's flush. And then I come back over it with another layer. And then I just use toothpicks to kind of swipe across. And then because of the fact that it's a hobby glue, I can really easily clean it. And it's, you know, it's in there. Like I tested it before I put the top layer on the first one that I did. And it's like I was tapping it on the... um 
silicone mat and everything down there and it wasn't coming out and the top layer keeps the dirt out and it's clear it's transparent so you can't really see through it so that's what i've been doing and i actually did that based on the recommendation of a flashlight channel that i watched that i'm totally drawing a blank on right now man i can't think of it of his name he shows up in my feed all the time though um but he you know he's got like 3000 followers and he builds the flashlights like he has hot plates and he has like a $250 soldering iron and everything so you know i trusted his recommendation <laughs> and went ahead with it thanks emily appreciate it all right i'm catching up again Thanks, Dwayne. I appreciate that, man. I appreciate my mods supporting and helping out all the time. You guys are awesome. Clarence, Clarence wants you want my mini pineapple or you want a mini pineapple? Um, another place that's really good to go to get. I'm gonna forget the name of that one too. Um, dang, hold on. Let me do. Let me do this because they always come up in my shirt. Uh, shirt <laughs> search uh red light mini pineapple it's something kill zone yeah that's a good place kill zone they're faster than ray light i ordered my because i couldn't find the blue aluminum anywhere i ordered that from ray light and that took five no six weeks to get here it took six weeks for that one to get here these are i think these guys are local um because theirs come in really really quick i don't know what else they got though uh let's see here flashlights and i think you can short by brand ray lights and then you know they got all kinds of stuff for anyone that's interested i ordered this one and i made the mistake of ordering it directly from uh, Ray Light, and it took forever to get here. I wish I'd have known. I don't think they have the blue in stock. I think that's why I didn't order from them. But they, you know, they got a bunch of different ones out there that you can go and look at. If you, you know, the Mini is very affordable. Truth be told, for a AAA light, you know, they're they're thirty seven fifty starting single, you know, single cell, very compact, very small, and they got some colors, some color options. Um, but I think the one that I got in the Sagaha was like a limited Raylight website only um, place to pick it up at. And I haven't seen it come back in stock, at least not the last time I checked. But anyway, let's uh, keep going with my personal stuff that came in. And let me also go back to... Nope, that one. Let me go back... Let me pull up the comments because that this comment, the one I pop out, helps me stay on task. Yeah, I am me. I have I have so many tabs open, man. It's kind of ridiculous. <laughs> I am forever multitasking, my man. I can show. Um, I think someone wanted to, wanted to see it. This is the the pineapple, which is definitely smaller than the land apple for sure. Oh my gosh, it's in here with my earbuds. I forgot I had that in from the gym. I need to go back to my gym this weekend. I've been using the one at the office a lot. So uh, do my best to show this to you guys. So that's the one I got with the Sagaha pattern on it. And then for size reference... Um, there it is against the, the ray light against the laying apple. So triple A, double A. And then you can try to do it this way. You can see, you know, you got, you're going to get more out of obviously the double A, but the triple A works well enough. I can get to it, but I do, it does, I do have a little bit of hangover. So I try to go as far over as I can, and then I'm reaching down in there to turn it on. So I really liked this one. I, I, I 
would have stuck with the um, double A over the triple A personally, but I liked this one for my my oh my cords getting tangled tangled up. I like this one for the data crew a lot. Definitely like this one for the data crew. All right. <laughs> Put my headset back in here so I have it when I go to the gym. All right. I'm going to throw that back over here. So when I get up, I see that it's still over there. Let's keep going. Um, for <laughs> anyone out there, what's going on, Javon? Thanks for stopping by, bro. I appreciate it. Anyone out there that hasn't checked out Javon's channel, stop over there and have a look. If you like what you see, feel free to subscribe. I'm sure he'd love to have you join. Jadazo, I wish my red light would use the titanium clips. Yeah, I know. Mine was shiny steel on stone wash TI. I etched it. Yeah, that's what I did to my titanium too. That's exactly what I did, Jay Dizzle. I actually want to make it a little bit darker. Um I forgot because I hadn't etched it in a little while that when you first take it out it looks darker. So I'm probably going to take it back there and etch it again. And then I did a stone wash um, on it as well to kind of match the stone wash on this one. All right. Um, I'm not sure how some of you are going to feel about this one. I wanted to check it out because I wanted to see in person. And I'm a little nervous about bringing it off because I don't. I, I probably should wait, but I'm going to show it. I'm going to show it now that I've said it. I'm going to check with Urban EDC Supply to see if they just licensed this to Remet so that they could offer it as a budget offering. There are some small, subtle differences, two things that I that I immediately noticed that are subtle and small differences, but um, to me, it's an exact replica. It's an exact replica. Thanks, Dwayne. I appreciate it. That's the link for Javon. If y'all want to subscribe and come on back over after or go check them out later. If you want to just open it in a new tab, you can do that and go check out some of his content later. Um, we're going to be doing the other drawing here in about 10 more minutes for the members only. But I picked up the Remet Seahorse. And I'm gonna reach out to Urban EDC and just ask them, did you know, did you like? Because this is a e, Urban EDC uh, supply design exclusive, but to me, this is uh, this is uh, an exact like getting it in hand. I can tell you the only difference is the flipper tab, and the notch is missing right here. So I did pull it up for discussion with you guys to have a discussion about what we were seeing. Um, there's the Urban EDC Supply F5.5. Unfortunately, you can't click on it. Um, but to me, um, especially, you know, in all the positions, the only, again, the only thing that I was noticing really different, and you can see it right there is the notch on the back. I was actually trying to examine this. Um, oh, the opening hole is a little bit different too. That is more pill shaped. This is more keyhole shaped. And then it has the flipper tab. You can see what it looks like with the backspacer. Trying to get an angle there. It's a three and a half finger knife. Blade shape, very similar. I mean, it looks identical when you look at the blade shape in the big picture. Um, thoughts? Thoughts on that one? I'm going to go back to the comment picker because we're going to need that in a little bit. Let me close this and design. Thoughts on that? What are your thoughts on that? Is that a clone? And I'm going to reach out because sometimes people do license designs to other people. And this, you know, this is only offered in D2 and G10. It's 30 bucks. Um, so it's super affordable. Remet's quality so far, I've handled three or four of their knives and their, and their quality is really nice. So what I'm really hoping uh, when I reach out to Urban EDC, EDC Supply is that they're going to say, yeah, they license this out, this design out and, you know, stipulated it couldn't be opening hole only and they needed to tweak some stuff. Um, or is this a blatant steal? 
I don't know what else to say. Uh, steal of design or theft of design. Um, if I can't verify it, I won't do any content on it. Um, and if I find out that it wasn't licensed, I won't do any content on it. That's, it'll probably die here. But I wanted to look at it so that I could do what I just did there and have it on screen and talk about it. No, that is never wrong, Sean. Not in my book. So you guys let me know what you think about that, and I'll move on to the next one, and I'll keep an eye on the comments. So Jay Dizzle, I wouldn't say it's a clone, but looks like they stole the design mostly and changed it enough to not be a clone. That's true. I, I'm probably not, clone's probably not the right word. Welcome to your NFL headlines of the day. But I would say it was a, definitely they, they stole over all the design. Record four year extension. Okay, so the Eagle signed somebody. Um, the last that is the last, the, yeah, the last new thing this week, guys, and then we'll do the drawing. It is the um CJRB Hector, Hector, Hectory. I can't remember how it said, Deg on it, and they don't put the name of it on the box. Um, this one here is very interesting. Uh, I wanted to check it out because everybody kept saying that they did a really good job on the crossbar lock. So it's not adjustable um, and it's not just crossbar lock tension. What they what they got right is that little notch that the crossbar lock settles into because it is not it is not mushy. And it's very, very crisp, very snappy. Um, I wish they'd have done thumb studs. You guys are going to kill me for that. But it's so tight into the scale, and then they have that notch for the finger cut out. I can't get my finger in there comfortably. Actually, it's already hurting from where I fidgeted with it the last couple of days. Ironically and weirdly enough, it actually has enough bite where if you kind of dig your thumb down in there, it's really satisfying to deploy. I think thumb studs would have been better. I always say you know, I like thumb studs on crossbar locks because it's really tight to get in here and I just need to spend a little bit more time with it and maybe it'll get lighter. Um, but they did a bang up job with the geometry for the crossbar lock. It, it has the heaviest, heaviest detent without magnets that I have felt on a crossbar lock. Like this is bananas. Can do y'all hear that? Really? I agree, Emily. I totally agree. That's pretty crappy in this, so if that's the case. I try to find stuff that is on YouTube's um, content creator page so I don't get in trouble. So your friend likes the doesn't like it. Um, it's too small for me, ultimately. Is it going to focus? There we go. Just too small. My pinky lands right on the notch there. But I did want to check it out because it's 50 bucks, And you guys know I'm going to say. Because <laughs> Benchmades are so expensive now. ARPM9 G10 crossbar lock reversible pocket clip. Yes, the blade shape is different enough to where I don't care, and the the finger cutout and everything make it different enough. But if you're looking for an alternative to a bug out that is affordable, this is definitely that knife. And I say that because I'm looking at it from my angle. Sorry, guys. Um, I think that they are very similar in length. And I'm going too far forward. There you go. No, backwards. Uh, very similar in length. This has flat scales. This has contoured scales. Um, geometry is thin as crap on both of these. 
and they're both extremely lightweight open shell construction um, this has steel liners that's been hollowed out um, this doesn't have full liners so if you're looking for a bug out alternative this is like going to be a, an exact sized competitor with a better crossbar lock i think the crossbar lock on this it's just ridiculous god it's hurting my fingers guys <laughs> it's hurting my fingers that or i wish they would have just chamfered it down a little bit um see if i can show it to you if they could have chamfered it down just a little bit over there where the hole drops down here because that's where i'm trying to get into if i go in up here i can get up there but that's what's hurting right now because it's pulling down on my nail and actually it's peeling my nail a little bit now now that i see there you go yeah yeah i'm still gonna reach out and just ask them but i guess jay dizzle does make a point that you know i mean that handle is identical and the blade shape's identical they did the opening hole and they didn't and the flipper tab and they did a keyhole wait did i say that keyhole is different the notches at the top aren't there i mean that's the only difference in that handle and then the flipper tab are the three things uh how does your hand uh how does your hand for on the oh on the bowie i have large glass uh, hands and it's good for me but you got the big hands um it's tight did i not show this i can't remember if i showed this last week i finally got my my um my grail that i've been chasing for almost two years i can't remember if i showed this or the videos out there i think i just posted it on instagram so crammed up here i uh hang off the back slightly so this is tucked up all the way up here and then off the back slightly it's still comfortable though it's thinner than i thought it was going to be i honestly thought it was going to be a little bit more of a chonker um but that's only because i think the pison i've handled that was thick but it was slender and the stove pipe that was a chunky chunky knife but it's, this is so much thinner than I thought it was going to be. This is a great daily carry. I really like this a lot. I really like this one a lot. It's breaking in. Holy crap. Did it? I, I'm always checking. No, it hasn't backed out. I'm always checking it. I can't believe how glassy this thing is. It's crazy how good this is. No lock stick at all either. If I didn't show that off, there you go. I can show it again. Um... But it, it's just a little off the back. But, I mean, it's kind of the same for a lot of my dairy, daily carry knives. Um, for the bug out, I'm right there. Probably just a little bit this way. A little bit off the back there. Just a little bit hangs off the back. Um, for my daily carry, I don't really mind that. Um, and I won't be breaking. I'll grab my shaman. Um, so this is kind of the same. I'm trying to relax my grip a little bit. So I think I just fit on there. Just a little bit hanging off the back. It's not awful. Not awful. I definitely feel like I swallow it. But I would grab like my Shaman, my Padre, um, Manix 2 if I had to break down boxes or, you know, heavy duty cutting or anything like that. Javon's chilling with us tonight, man. Oh, let's see here. Thomas, the O knife Roboto 3 is like that, but with studs and honeycomb aluminum scales. You like the action on that one? I I feel like well, I feel like Kaiser um you know with the drop bear. There's another one they have that I really like. I can't think of what it is. They had another crossbar lock knife that I really really liked um they do a really good job with it but this i mean this is bananas 
they got that geometry down on this one. They they were like, we don't need to adjust nothing. You don't need no adjustable crossbar lock springs. This thing just absolutely <laughs> is dialed. I don't know if it'll you know loosen up or anything over time, but that that is crazy. It's funny how almost every knife company uses access locks now. And most are better than the bitch made who did it 20 years ago. I would say, um, uh, if I'm being honest, I'd actually say, I mean, I don't know if they still do this. Um, this actually, to me, I handled that Hogue recently, the Misto. I honestly think Benchmade's is better. I would say I would put that, I mean, I'm only going off of the one CJRB, so I hate to do that because I, I like to try multiple examples. But I would say CJRB, Kaiser for sure right behind them, unless this is a flute, the one that I got, then I would reverse that. And then I would say Benchmade's above Hogue for their crossbar locks. Actually, I take that back. Manix 2. CJRB, Kaiser, Benchmade, Hogue. And I'm sorry if I missed anybody out there with another crossbar lock. Actually, does Kaiser make Vosti's crossbar lock? Because I would put them at a tie. And if they're making it, then that makes sense why I would put that at a tie. Um, actually, I would put Tactiles above Benchmade's. And then bench made then hose. But you're right. They've done it the longest and they're at the bottom of the list. You know, I would put them in front of Hogue though. This one feels better. But out of the box, I would say the action on the Hogues are smoother. But it's hard because I'm comparing a DECA to a bug out. It's not the same. But I, I do feel like bench maids is still just a little bit better on some of the knives. I guess the model kind of depends too. What's the overall length? Seems smaller than I thought it would be. Are you talking about the seahorse? Which one are you talking about? Uh, Shabab must have small hands because I always thought the sleaze buoy was fairly large knife. Oh, you, are you ask? Are you guys asking what's the overall length on the buoy? Let me grab my ruler. Uh, let me try without. That's on the tip. Seven and three quarters. On the nose, seven and three quarters overall length on the buoy, if that's what you're asking. If not, I'll measure whatever one you were asking about. Sorry. All right, Blue Minotti, thanks for stopping by. I appreciate it, brother. I'll see you tonight if you're over there at Kevin's Live. Oh, the land. Well, the lander's made by Kaiser, so again, Kaiser still gets the credit for that. Yep. Yeah, anything that Kaiser's building for anybody, I'm all just... I'm, you know, lumping it in um, and giving the credit to Kaiser. The Manix 2 is a ball cage lock, but I still consider it a crossbar because you have the crossbar to have the studs on it to actuate it. Um, but the way that it works, it works a little bit different. The crossbar usually has the springs coming off of it. It's hard to do it that way. So we'll say that they have the springs coming off of it. Whereas the crossbar on the, the Manix 2 has an inline spring. And then the crossbar actuates it. So I guess I still want to give it credit as being the best. But if you say that it's not, I wouldn't argue with you. <laughs> true. True. It's not. It's not. I, I'm only saying crossbar because the bar crosses both of the liners. That's the only reason I'm saying it's a crossbar lock. Um, most, I, I mean, I recognize most have outer springs, but the Manix 2 has an inline spring. So, And they build it like a compression lock, which is a reverse liner lock. They put the, the system on the back of the spine. Um, back of the spine instead of on the top. So I know it's different, but I still give it credit as being the best. <laughs> Ooh, Vosti Dotson is the best, but did Kaiser OE it? That's what I don't know. 
I keep hearing that Kaiser is doing the OE work for Vostid. So I still give the credit to Kaiser. But that design and how tucked those thumb, star, thumb studs in on it are in it on it are <laughs> definitely my favorite that would be my top knife crossbar lock and uh honest truth be told this is really close guys like i just i'm blown away not adjustable in any way neither is the dotson um and they definitely tucked they tucked it in there and i think that's part of the reason why look at the look at the angle here and then also, I think the geometry that they have that crossbar lock sitting in there keeps it tucked in there nice and tight. Like this one's really impressed me. Too small, <laughs> but it does want me to, it does have me wanting to check out the larger Ray Laconico designed knife that they're about to drop here at mid month. So I'm probably going to check that out and just see if it's consistent. I know, I know. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't matter. The Manic still for a crossbar disengagement lock, still my favorite. Still tops. I wish Spyderco would do more, honestly, of them. I need to do this other drawing though. I, I'm run, running on and I apologize. I don't mean to. So let me share my screen. Let me go and get the Video details, copy the link, copy, copy the link. Did it copy it? It doesn't give no confirmation. I hate that. Uh, we're going to the comment picker. We're going to put it in here. Let's fetch it. Anything goes because it's just for members only. So no keyword or anything like that. No replies though. And we're not going to allow duplicates. Let's see how many comments we got. Did I wait too long? Hold on. Let's try it again. I feel like I messed something up. Anything goes. No replies. Continue. What is going on? Oh, is it because it's members only? No, it should still work, right? Am I going to have to... What is up oh, with oh gosh. Words? Sorry, guys. Let me see. Am I going to have to publish the video for this to work? Nah, because that link is different. Oh, yeah. I'm going to have to publish it. All right. Give me one second. So let's do this. Um, members only, so let's publish it. Am I in the right video? Yes. Right? Let's do public. And then... I guess I need to do this quickly. Save. Can I... Lock the comments. Can I lock the comments? I've never done this before. Sorry for the painful, my first. Or is it? unlisted let me try this first actually i think that takes it to where no one can see it right all right let's do it really quick let's do it really quick save the changes go to the page let's stop do the comments show up now yeah the comments show up now so it should work now i think that's the problem and then i'll put it back to members only after the drawing so let's refresh. My gosh, this is a lot of work. Paste, fetch, anything goes, no replies, continue. There they are. Okay. All right. Let me put it back to, um, actually, let me leave it like that just in case we need to draw again. All right. You guys ready?
Betty Davis is the winner for the Migron Pagos and the Anodized Titanium Pry Bar. Are you out there, Betty? Or did you leave already? I'm going to put this back to members only. Are you out there, Betty? Let me hear you if you are. Okay. Let me hear you if you are. Are you still out there? She was here earlier. I saw her earlier. And I guess let me ask you guys this. I'm not going to do it now. Oh, there she is. Congrats, Betty. All right. Let me drop it. Uh, Betty, actually, you already have my email, or do you need me to give it to you again? <laughs> Robo trying to take it from Betty. Oh, come on, Robo. There you go. And I know she said that she wanted the pry bar. Do you need me to send you the email again, or do you still have it? Well, I guess you can grab it off any of my descriptions. I think you said you wanted one of these, didn't you? And there'll be some other swag in there. You need it again? Okay, hold on. Let me drop it in the chat. Let me drop it in the chat. There you go. So just shoot me an email. Send me your shipping information. And I will pack this up in the box with your pry bar. And there'll be some other goodies in there. And then... Excuse me. Clarence, he's taking it. <laughs> Clarence said he's taking it. <laughs> Actually, I mean, it's a great size for, you know, medium and smaller hands. So I don't know. You might want to hang on to it. You want me to do a um, comparison to the <laughs> to the, the mini Labrador that you have? Let me do it this way so you can see it from the show side. So it's not terribly larger. Sorry, I'm I'm going the wrong way. It's not terribly larger. Oh, uh, that's okay, Dwayne. Appreciate you looking out for me, man. I mean, you you can you can check it out when you get it in there. At the very at the worst case, I know she said she liked the um, anodized pry bar, um, so you can get that one here. I'll actually do you a favor because I had thrown the blurple one in there. Do you like the blurple, or I have the other one over here? Do you like the fade? The fade is a higher voltage anodizing, and it was stonewashed. So you see how the edges have a little bit more purple in them? It keeps wanting to focus on me. Oh, let me... You know what? I probably could just pull up a page. There you go. The bright, brighter light. And I'm sorry. That's my fingerprint there in the middle. So you let me know which one you want. I'll let you choose. If you want this one here, it goes from like a blue to blurple to purple to bronze. Or... And I'll hold them up together and you can pick. Which one you like? <laughs> Emily is a trope. All right. Which one do you like better, uh, Betty? Which one do you want? You want the blurple? Man, that looks really blue next to the purple, doesn't it? Or do you want the fade? Fade? Okay. I will send you the fade. 
and I'll save the blurple for next time. I'm going to do some different colors. I ordered a couple more. I'm going to do some different colors for future giveaways, but I will send you the fade. And let me clean my, I got my finger, oily fingerprints on it. Let me clean it off a little bit for you before I send it to you. <laughs> and then just shoot me your information. I'm going to be sending uh, some of the pass around stuff that I'm done with out. And I'm going to be sending the um, Instagram one away uh, that I gave out, out or away, gave away out. <laughs> hey i bet she she keeps life spicy man there's nothing wrong with that um but that's all that i'm gonna be doing tonight guys i'm gonna go ahead and wrap up i'm gonna go say hi to the wife i am gonna go eat something light for dinner and then i'll be on kevin's live a little bit later to say hey to everyone and see what y'all are up to i appreciate y'all hanging out We'll be doing this again next week. Next week, I'll give away some member channel memberships. Um, and then we'll talk a little bit more. Oh, uh, answer that for me before you go. Do you, And Betty was here, so there you go. Um, Member-only giveaways, got to be at the live or uh, have come to the live. Because I know some people are working, driving, and stuff like that. So do we all agree that's that's what we want to do for the members is you have to have showed up at some point during the giveaway live stream. I feel like that um, is fair, right? Because if you came to hang out, I, that's what I want to reward. I want to show my appreciation by, by doing it that way. Um, so I think that's where I want to go. Oh, yeah. Got it over here first. Don't ever forget. Your boy showing that love. <laughs> All right, El Cap. I'll catch you later. I'll catch you guys later. I'll catch you on the next live. We can pick up the um the question on the next one because I forgot about the delay, but we'll we'll catch the question on that one. I got Betty stuff right here. Um, who won the one for Instagram? Are you still here? Are you still here? I'll get it off of Instagram. So I got to send the flashlight and that knife out tomorrow. I got a couple packages I can send out tomorrow, so that works. Yeah, Jeremy, thanks for hanging out, bro. Appreciate it. Sean's still here. Sean is the winner. Okay. Sean is the winner. I know I took the screenshot, but since you already messaged me on Instagram, I'm just going to go ahead downstairs to my other, <laughs> my laptop that I don't use for rendering videos. I'm putting your knife back in the pack now. Um, and then we'll throw the flashlight in there. And then some other little goodies. So it'll be coming in the box and betty yours will be going in the box as well actually i need to pull that box back out i forgot to do that so it'll be all boxed up for you guys thank you so much for all the support i love you i hope you have a great weekend and i'll catch you if you're going to be at kevin's live talk to y'all later have a